Hello everyone, back to you in today's first video. We're going to have a look at the Japanese and CFSB2 models for the next month for today's first video. So it's JMA Friday and we're going to do your month head uh, look ahead, which takes us into the second half of February, running down the clock to the end of winter of 2018. I've been a strange old winter, it hasn't really uh, got going yet, although the past few days have been a little bit colder, but it's been Funny winter, the uh, long range output has tended to be favouring cold conditions, but somehow or other it hasn't really come together so far. We'll see what uh, the JM8 and CFS V2 models have got to say about uh, the final month of winter of 2018-19 uh, very shortly. Coming up later on this afternoon here on the homepage, we'll have your regular week to 10 day video update. And then tonight we've got the first ENSO update of the year coming up. So have a look at that. Probably be around 7 o'clock, something like that uh, this evening. But starting us off for this Friday is JMA Friday. So let's get on with the month head look here. So we're going to start off with Japanese uh, model. We're going to look at the North Pole view down. So this is the North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere just here. But the mean, latitudes of the Northern Hemisphere are around there. 500 millibars is an area in the actual high pressure and low pressure up in the ground by the jet stream. And uh, blue is extrapolating to uh, below average heights, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange and red extrapolated to above average heights, which is high pressure. These flow, mean flow charts are broken down into weekly periods. The first weekly period will take us from the 25th through to the 1st of February. So in the coming week, we've got a large area of above average heights out to the west of the UK and also ridging up to uh, the northwest as well. We've got below average heights over and to the east of the country and also a trough extending down through the east of America. So the flow and the jet is going to be going something uh, rather like that. It means that we're placed onto the cold side of the jet and we look quite unsettled. We'll be pulling in pretty cold air from from the north around that uh, trough of low pressure to the east and the ridge out to the west. Fairly cold, unsettled and potentially quite wintry therefore in the week ahead. We go through to week two, takes us from the 1st through to the 8th of uh, February and if anything the uh, pattern gets more, more extreme because we now start to generate northern blocking to the north of the country. It, it extends down into the Atlantic in terms of a mid-Atlantic ridge. There's also this trough of below average heights to the south of the country, which means we're tending to pull in cold east to northeasterly winds there. Uh, and again, with the below average heights to our south, it looks like it will be pretty wintry too, particularly probably for southern parts of the country. So really quite a cold, unsettled, and potentially wintry uh, start to February, if that's right. And then we go through to week three and four. It's the 8th through to the 22nd of February. And no real change, really. We've still got the above average heights through the middle of the Atlantic. They extend up towards Greenland as well. Below average heights are centred to the south of the country. And therefore, we pull in the wind from an east or northeasterly direction. It still looks pretty cold and wintry, I have to say. Now, remember, these are anomalies over weekly, over weekly periods. So... Uh, whilst this is uh, showing sort of four weeks of northern blocking and cold and wintry conditions, obviously you will get day-to-day -day deviations, day-to-day -day variations, such as today, for example, it's relatively mild today, um, and cold weather is coming back later on in the weekend. But you'll always get day-to-day -day deviations from an overall trend. But this is a really quite a cold and wintry um, for weekly updates from the JMA Friday this week week the Japanese model has trended towards extensive northern blocking and uh, pretty cold and wintry conditions there's no getting around it that's what the model is uh, showing whether it's right or wrong is another matter but in terms of what the model is depicting it is depicting four weeks of northern blocking and cold overall cold and wintry conditions this is the tropical and mid-latitude view. So the British Isles is just here in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it on this particular view. You can't see the Northern, northern Hemisphere, so you won't be able to see all of the Northern blocking that we've got coming up. The North Pole is uh, kind of like up there. You can't see the pole on this particular view. But we've already had a look at that, and we know there's going to be extensive Northern blocking over the next 
uh, for week. So for week one, we've got the below average heights over and to the east and southeast of the country. The ridge is in the middle of the Atlantic with above average heights there. And so in between, you would expect us to be pulling down cold northerly winds. It looks pretty cold and wintry. Temperature anomalies in the week ahead are coming out colder than average for the UK and the most parts of Central Europe as well. A colder than average week coming up from the 25th of January through to the 1st of February. Precipitation anomalies are also above average. So this is an unsettled but cold week coming up, which is a fairly unusual combination. Normally, if it's unsettled, it's mild. And if it's cold, it's dry. So considering we're looking at cold but unsettled conditions, you have to think there is a growing threat of snow probably in the week ahead. We go through to week two, which takes us from the 1st through to the 8th of February. The first week of February has below, as above average heights, rather, in the middle of the Atlantic, and they do extend up to the north as well in terms of northern blocking. Then we have below average heights over into the south of the country, and this would leave us pulling in a cold north or northeasterly wind. Again, cold and wintry conditions would be favoured through the first week of February. Temperature anomalies, colder than average, below average temperature anomalies by around a couple of degrees, perhaps below average, not just for the UK, but for most parts of Europe too. The precipitation anomaly is also uh, looking a little bit drier than average for northern and western parts of the country, but down to the south, it looks a bit wetter than average and also slightly wetter than average to the east. That's depicting snow showers, uh, I would have thought, coming in on cold northeasterly winds onto the eastern side of the country. So it's a bit drier there through the first week of February, but it's, uh, it's a pretty cold week to say the least. And then we go through to weeks 3 and 4. This is the 8th through to the 22nd of February. And no real changes, really. We still have this area of above average heights through the middle of the Atlantic and extending north as well. Below average heights over to the south of the country. This leaves us pulling in cold northeasterly or easterly winds. So you'd expect this still to be cold and wintry as we're moving into the middle part of February. That's what the temperature anomaly is showing. Uh, weeks 3 and Four coming out with below average temperature anomalies for the UK and most parts of Europe as well. If this is right, we're in for a cold, maybe even a very cold February, you have to say, not just in the UK, but across much of Northern Europe too. It looks a bit over the top, I have to say, but if this is right, very cold February is on the way. Uh, the precipitation anomaly is drier than average generally much of the UK and Ireland, although to our south, it looks a little bit wetter than average there. A lot of that could be snow, of course, and into some central parts of Europe as well. So this is a very cold and uh, unsettled update from the JMA uh, model for uh, this week's JMA Friday. If this is right, we'll be looking at a notably cold uh, February, certainly up to the third week of the month anyway. Bear in mind, there could still be day-to-day -day variations, and some days could probably be milder, but uh, this really has gone to town on the cold of an average temperature anomalies and blocking signal. Let's see if the CFS V2 is in agreement. So again, these are 500 millibar heights, so they're broken down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 25th through to the 31st of January, with below average heights centred over the UK and extending to our south as well. Above average heights are in the middle of the Atlantic. There's a trough through the east of America too, so the jet stream's really digging down through the east of America. That leads us doing something like that with the flow and with the jet. It looks pretty cold and unsettled in week one. Maybe not quite as cold as what the uh, JMA signal is for this final week of January, but nevertheless still looks generally on the cold side and unsettled and potentially quite wintry too. Then we're into week two. It takes us from the 1st through to the 7th of February. The below average heights are slipping away to our south. They're centred over to the south of the country. Above average heights are in the middle of the Atlantic and also over here across, uh, well, probably northern blocking is there. It extends down 
kind of like into the northeast and the east of Europe. Um, so it's a complicated pattern, but I think overall we're still on the cold side of the jet stream doing something a little bit like that with the flow of the jet, very extreme jet stream uh, really. Eastern and southeastern parts of Europe would be very mild, pulling the wind up from a southerly to southeast direction. But for us, I think we're still bringing down cold air into that trough of below average height. So cold and wintry through the first week of February. Uh, week three, <coughs> excuse me, it's looking like that. And again, we have quite an extensive northern blocking signal. Uh, this time, it's kind of like centre from Scandinavia over towards Greenland with the below average heights over, <coughs> excuse me again, over and to the south of the country. There's a trough within the 500 millibar flow again. So once more, it looks pretty unsettled. And you would have thought generally quite cold uh, there. And then finally, we go through to week four. It's the 15th to the 21st of February. Again, we've got below average heights across the west and northwest of Europe. Above average heights from the Atlantic up towards Greenland. We're entrenching cold air into that trough of below average heights. We're doing something like that with the flow and with the jet stream looks cold and unsettled. I'm not sure this is quite as cold as what the JMA is showing, but they're both broadly in line for a lot of northern blocking to be in play through February and uh, generally cold and wintry outlook from both of the models this morning. Temperature anomalies in the week ahead from the 25th through to the 31st of January coming out a little bit colder than average. Not as cold as what the JMA is showing for the week ahead, but nevertheless coming out a little bit colder than average in the week ahead. Week 2 is actually a colder week. This is from the 1st through to the 7th of February. Uh, this comes out quite substantially cold than average, going a couple of degrees or more uh, below average in week 2, that first week of February on both the JMA and the CFS V2 shaping up to be a cold or potentially very cold week. Uh, week 3, which is the 8th to the 14th of February, still a little bit below average, but slightly less so compared to week 1. It's still on the cold side, but it's not as cold as what we see in uh, weeks uh, 1, particularly in weeks 2. But then in week 4, which is the 25th through to the, uh, which is the 15th through to the 21st of February, in week four, we see the temperature normally actually getting colder in this week. So um, it does wax and wane a little bit, the colder than average temperature anomalies. They do wax and wane a, li a little bit. But overall, this is a cold four weeks coming up. It's a cold February, but it's being forecast by both the JMA and the CFSV2. Again, bear in mind there will be day to day variations. Precipitation anomalies in the week ahead from the 25th through to the 31st of January are coming out a little bit uh, above average. So it's an unsettled week ahead and there will be a wintry flavour with those colder than average temperature anomalies. Uh, week 2 precipitation is the 1st through to 7th of February. The first week of February looks drier than average up to the north but wetter than average down to the south. Again, wintry potential there through the first week of February, particularly I would have thought focused on England and Wales, less so for Scotland and Northern Ireland, because there it's likely to be dry, frosty and cold. But for England and Wales, I reckon there would be on easterly winds potential for uh, some snow there through the first week of February. Week 3, which is the 8th to the 14th of February, average precipitation uh, then. And then week 4, which is the 15th to the 21st of February, it's uh, drive and average out to the north and the west, still indicating this blocking signal that is sitting to the north and the west of the UK. So it's a very interesting update that we got from JMA Friday this week. We've got both of the models in agreement for a cold and wintry outlook, a cold and wintry February. Now, the JMA, I think, is the coldest of the two models in terms of the blocking and also the uh, temperature anomaly. So the JMA is the coldest of the two. CFS isn't as cold, but they are both in agreement for uh, quite, a, uh, quite a lot of northern blocking for the next four weeks. Waxing and waning a little bit with the CFS in terms of the cold temperature anomalies, but generally it's below average, sometimes particularly week two, that first week of February, very cold. And overall, just quite a wintry, uh, quite a wintry February 
coming up. Now, as I said, this is a very, very complicated winter uh, because all the way along, the longer range stuff like the JMA and uh, long range ones like that have been indicating quite a cold winter, uh, but the short range just never gets there. We've never really been able to generate a sustained spell of very cold and snowy weather up to this point. But uh, it could be that February is going to change all that. We always did have February down as potentially the coldest month of this winter. So let's just wait and see. We need to stay cautious until we see proper Greenland and Northern blocking coming into the model output. We need to stay cautious. But if the signals are right within JMA Friday this week, we should be seeing signs of that within the shorter range model output within the next few weeks. So uh, let's just wait and see where this is going. It's highly experimental. These large models are always prone to chopping and change, so it could all look very different next week. But certainly a cold and wintry update from JMA Friday this week. We'll be back later on this afternoon with your week to 10 day video update. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.